guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes tw 12, 10 to 12 of season 3 of Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get started on episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, oh my god, because <laughs> it's my first. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I get that. Which are? Mm-hmm. And... It feels like it's been, what, a whole month? <laughs> well, by the time this comes out for everybody else, it'll be... Not even a month. It'll be like a couple of weeks later. Yeah. Because I, I decided not to have this come out. Um, today's the 24th. So... The, the 30th? I believe. I think that's the same day I work. I think so. Yeah. Because this is going to come out the following week. So that first official week of January. Well, everybody else gets to have this tomorrow for Christmas. So, you know, Merry Christmas to my Patreons. Merry Christmas to everybody else. Um, hope you had a good day. <laughs> I already opened all my presents, like, way... Today is the 24th. So I opened my presents between the 23rd and a little bit of today. Because most of them came, like, through the mail. My mom was like, oh, hey. This is for you. <laughs> that bullshit half ass. <laughs> we all knew it was going to fucking happen for him anyway. Smug little piece of shit. Yeah, but you need to tell someone about what the fuck is going on. Yeah, Alki would never dump you. You still got this. Uh, what day? <laughs>
It is good. I know, because it's not. Well, he might as well go ahead and say everything to him. I'm just saying. I know I would. Exactly. But then, okay, since they're now officially telling how did he, like, would have had to be told someone... Yeah, so what the fuck are y'all gonna do? I mean, no offense. It, it, <laughs> it's a little fucked up, but like... Exactly, so are we gonna continue to allow him do that, or... Yeah, but then at the same time, he can still just take his shit up and go somewhere else.
Yeah, because, like, no offense, using 50 people is fucking cheating. Like, I don't care what you say. That is, like, how is... <laughs> I'll never forget the, the gamer girl controversy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. My husband was literally over here like, yes, we are about to cancel this mofo in 10 weeks. Like, are you sure you could do that within 10 weeks? True. Yeah, but I don't think none of them will go down without a fair fight. Come on now. The, like, no offense, he is a cheater. I mean, but even though, like, his strong shoot of using 50 people is very smart, but still. That's still fucking cheating in my book. That, too. Can I say, like, the two characters right there literally look like the characters from Platinum Zen, which I need to catch up on. <laughs> I haven't caught up on so many shows. So probably tomorrow. Makes you wonder who KK thirty three is. I mean thirty three, thirty four. My bad. Uh. Like, what if it's just someone, like, mm. well, okay, so take away the two, so that's 50, 49, 48 people left? So, let's say one of the 48 is somebody, or some people we know, that barely got a lot of screen time. Well, you should have. You shouldn't have kept it to yourself.
Yeah. You just come in there to just voice your opinion on everything that's on. Well, you know, my thing is, why don't you switch? Well, because Nami is an ass. That's not, I'm sorry. We're going to say that. he He's very cute, but he is an ass. I'm sorry. Like, oh, I want to punch him in the fucking face. I get that, but maybe you need to have someone else and let someone else do it on me. Oh my god, it's not the end of the world. I, he gives me way too much in this. <laughs> Seriously? Of course. Then what was it? Yeah. 
Which he is right. See, because it's like almost how, like, I got little bugs around here, little fucking spies and shit. Oh my fuck are you serious See, this is why you can't count anybody out in this series because you think like, oh, hey, once they're gone, they're never coming back. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. The plot fucking thickens. And the next thing you know, somebody from the past comes back, a.k.a. What the fuck just happened right now? Oh, my God. I thought we would never see him again. Oh. I'm shaking. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. So now what are they supposed to do? I can't. I can't. I can't. It's too much. And we still, I still got two more episodes to watch. Two. Oh, God. Okay, so now it makes you wonder, like, are they going to, with this next episode, like, show right when he left, coming back home, and then eventually not only finding him, being like, oh, hey, like, I see how good your art was and everything for This Is Set in the Third, you know, hey, work with me and my group of 50 people, aka, you know, now a little bit of 49, and da-da-da, and This Is Set in the Third of 48, like, I'm, I'm fucking up with my numbers, damn it, <laughs> but... So, cause see, something about this, we're having 50 people on an assignment or as a team together, working together, just does not, it, that's not right. Not in my opinion. I'm so, because, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, because I, I can't even believe we're about to go here with this. Let, let's go into Death Note territory. How many times before fucking Light, you know, came in with Misa and everybody, Light was always on his fucking own. Light handled himself like a motherfucking boss. Yes, sometimes he fucked up. And he know when he fucked up because we all fucking, hell, I'm not even rewatch Death Note. But we all know. And then when Misa came along, of course he was using her because we all freaking know that. That is a di that's a dick fucking movie. You never want to use a fucking woman and such. You never really want to use anybody. But he looked at women and really everyone else is like inanimate objects at the end of the day. And it was just like, oh, hey, if you get in my way, psh, I can kill you like this. I want this fucking little shit to die. Like, I need this kid to go. I need his shit to be canceled fucking ASAP. The day. The fucking episode. When his shit get canceled. I'm gonna be over here like, yes. 
We're going to pop some champagne. We're going to be drinking. we we just going to keep going. We're going to raise a glass and be like, yes, your shit is canceled, fucker. Like, oh, because this dude, like, at first I really liked him. And then it, it's just that little, his, his little switch. Like, he, he goes very, like, uh, sub and dom uh, dominant at times. So when he's like, do when he's like around um his editor and everyone else, he's like the sweetest, kindest, gentle like boy and such. And then when he's alone, that is when his true face and his true mask comes off. And how he he's like fucking a catchy from Persona Five. Like oh my god, and, and, like not even not not well okay. A little bit of half of Persona 5 slash Persona 5 Royal. Because at the end of the day, I still like Akechi for what the fuck he... Who, who he is as a character. Even though, like, some of the things with just, like, with, you know, Light and the things that he did, I didn't personally agree. There were some things that I loved about it. And then there's some things I didn't really personally love and agree about. So, But I was like, hey, it's okay. You do what you do. But still, your it's just wrong, mofo. Get canceled, please. That's all what we want at the end of the day. I mean, the easiest thing is, yes... If Hattie went back to the office, told the chief before, like, way before he got that sterilization, oh, he would have been finished. But he would have got up, he would have left the company and gone to a different manga company to get a different sterilization. So the whole thing would have kept going for him and he still would have got his shit. So, <laughs> once again, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 11. Alrighty, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Like seriously, how the fuck did you find him? Did you I am the bastard? Yeah, but your mom's right, though. There we go, it's better. So you're telling me you're living with him? You are still pissed about the fact that she slapped the shit out of you. Remember, at that time, you know, I was upset with her too. But yeah, like I said, maybe you fucking deserved it. And in a way, even now, you still deserved it. Oh, God. <laughs> the things this show does to me. Oh, my God. It's, see, it, it's, it's Death Note, but worse. Because... Oh my god, like, the, the things that Death Note did to me week after week when I was watching that shit for the first time on Adult Swim, and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> and then it's funnier to watch a certain anime, with, like, with a parent, and they've never seen it, but they know that you've talked about it and such, and, and then, you know, you're watching it with your mom, your dad, both your parents, and then something happens to you over here, like, yeah, I was like that the first time. <laughs> oh, but seriously, this, oh, God. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
I'm thirsty. I should have got like water or something. Yeah, but let's hope it fucking works though. Oh, and of course he loves it when women flirt with him or just ask any little question because of course. So basically, you treat the men like shit and women like gods. Yeah, you might as well know. I get that. But still, people like that about him. I mean, you know, when you have something that is a jumble mess, someone's initially going to like it for this, this, that, and the third, but still... <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself. your high horse ass I just wanna say I feel like Exactly. Well, maybe your way 
isn't the right way, though. <sighs> oh, God. This arrogant little piece of shit. God, I'm so excited for bleach. We'll blame who he has on his team. You still are wrong, fuckface. Looks like we were talking out of our ass this week. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you don't need 50 freaking people in a room with you. Because that's the best fucking thing to do. You know you can't win against them. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry, but I'm just saying. See, this is what happens, you know. Karma is a bitch.
Too late, he already is. So there's only like 25 of y'all left? Damn. You know, honestly, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, I feel bad for him. You can tell through each, like, placing, he's losing the cracks of himself. Oh my god. I mean, of course, let it be him, because right now he's hella unrecognizable. Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Think calm, positive thoughts, Deja. You ain't even got 50 people anymore. You got 25. Of course he is. He's crumbling. Damn. Of course it is. I just didn't think it was going to be like out there like that. Exactly. Like what? It's already too late.
Yeah, and he doesn't realize that. And by the time he does, it's gonna be. You know what? No, it is already too late for. <laughs> Sayonara. Arva. Bon voyage. Bon bon. Like, goodbye. Uh. How? By being nice to him after all the ish that he said to you? Possibly to the, the, the 50 people on that chat site? <laughs> Couldn't be me. Could not be me. <laughs> me when I go to work. <laughs> and then I don't have time to record and then I'm rushing. <laughs> oh, God. I got him off for like three more days. You're really that desperate. Can we slap him though? Like... Are you really coming over here to steal it? Then let him fail first and then bring him back up. Okay, okay. One, this episode went by fast. Like, oh, like, it, it kind of reminded me of how that freaking, almost like, <laughs> when you start on a line, how it's a several episodes when we were getting closer and closer to the end of the show, it went by too damn fast. I was like, damn, we done? Like, oh, God, shit, no. But, oh, okay, if... Our boys, my babies, think this is a good idea, then yeah, I 100% support it. I understand, you know, because Nanami has gone way too freaking far, but at the same time, in my opinion, I think he needs to fail. He's been on this high horse ever since he's first officially popped up into this series. And having 50 people 
behind him and now having everybody who's in the office for Sean and Jack know about this situation I would have immediately thought that like straight up they just would have canceled him and being like okay no this can't work we can't have like your name and you're the only one getting paid for it and such but he's like no I like divide the money after this is that and the third and everything else <sighs> Just beat his ass. <laughs> please. Just do it the night before Christmas. Please. That's all I want. Like, ah. Uh, beat his motherfucking ass to the ground. Like, oh my god. Hell, I thought his editor was about to beat the shit out of him too. But, like, when he pushed him down and he fell in his chair, I wanted to laugh so bad. And you can already see that, you know, after officially, you know, my boys have said, yes, of course, he's going to be back on his high horse in the final episode of this week. But no, like something's going to happen and then he's going to come crashing down and I'm going to be over here like, yes, we're celebrating again, bitch, because, oh, my God, <sighs> mofo children. Like, I, I mean, you know, you know how like where there's you've met a kid or maybe you even been that kid yourself. Who cannot take no for an answer because like <laughs> when I was at work this past week. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I ain't going to say no more, no less. But it, it's just he is the type of anatomy is definitely a type of character who will can, will not and cannot take no as an answer. He he doesn't want to fail. He Failure is not an option for him. All he wants to do is just to beat my boys. I understand that, your passion, your drive for it. But having a group of 50 freaking people in a chat room giving you ideas and such, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I cannot believe I'm about to compare this again. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Like I said, how, you know, how very successful The Amazing Spider-Man 1 was, even though I have not seen, um, Spider-Man, I think it's No Way From Home, the newest one that came out, even though I've seen the spoilers, but I still want to go see the movie anyway. Um, the situation of Amazing Spider-Man 2 and how one was hella successful for Sony and they were ready for to do two, then to have this big, big, you know, like cinematic universe of the Amazing Spider-Man finally coming out to theaters so that they can have this, this, that, and the third. And unfortunately, because two didn't get the money that they wanted it to, of course, two was a box office bomb. And we now are dealing with the situation of having Peter Parker in the MCU and then all this, this, that, and the third. But from what I have been hearing because of this last Spider-Man movie, they kind of want to do a third Amazing Spider-Man um with Andrew Garfield and then some people are talking about there's a little like tidbits of talking about um even Tommy McGuire coming back for Spider-Man 4 because I, I think at that time when Spider-Man 3 came out I think Sam what the hell is his last name it starts with an R he wanted to initially do 4 but I think um at that time the company and I think it was Columbia Studios at that time I was a kid when I when this happened um, I think they said no and such. I mean, it, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. But then also look at the freaking animated Spider-Man series. Look at <laughs> Do we all, we all know how good that first movie was. And I'm just so excited for the second movie because we all know the second movie, our Spider-Verse shit is going to be so fucking good. That's why I'm so excited for my birthday next year. But still, like, seriously, Nanami just needs his ass chewed up and spit the fuck out because he is just one of them arrogant little pricks, once again, who cannot take no for an answer. And you just like, bruh, shut up. Like, come on. Come on. Like, just, oh, my God. Just, you know, cancel the manga and start over from scratch. Do not take the 50 people with you. Take yourself and your editor and anyone else who has been closest with you with doing the art and everything 
and start over from scratch. If you want to do this the quote unquote right way, then you have to do that. But no, because he is an arrogant prick, little shit bastard. He is like, nope, mm mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not doing it your way. I'm doing it my way. My way is the correct way. Like, no, 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 no. You have no freaking say. Like, no, this is my ish. And so this is kind of, it, it's very similar to a fucking YouTube channel where someone's like, oh, you should do this. I oh, should do that. But like, I don't know. My YouTube channel. This is what I want to do. If I want to watch this series of this series and this series, I want to do a series on this. I want to do a series on that. I can do it. But sometimes, you know, yeah, sometimes we are, <laughs> all of us YouTubers can be <laughs> like, as well, because we all want to do whatever the fuck we want to do. I mean, out of any of the series that I have watched, whether I have completed them from beginning to end, or I had to put them on hiatus, like, indefinitely because of this, is that, and the third, or even ones that I watched for like two weeks and I dropped because it wasn't good. It could either because it could either be because I wasn't interested into it, the person who requested it wasn't doing anything for me with it, um, anything. Just you know, follow your gut, listen to yourself. Oh my God, <sighs> bitch! All right, <laughs> go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys for the last episode. <laughs> okay, episode twelve and three, two. One, go. So you better fucking lose. Oh my god. That's because you're only happy for what he did for you. That's it. <laughs> 20. <laughs> oh, you think 20 people. <laughs> this boy, hey, you know, at first he was like, oh, 50 people, it's okay. You think you know half of the people. <laughs> he really think, mm, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, really, 20 now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's an analogy, basically. You know, too many people with too many ideas. Exactly. Usually people are going to argue over that and then it's just going to be too much for everybody. Like, think of that Spider-Man play that was supposed to come out so many years ago. That's one of those big situations as well.
Exactly. You can tell that it's just, it's not his work any, anymore. It still is his name and everything, but what he's trying to do and what people are giving him, it's just not coming to life for him. It's making him fail. Shouldn't you, like, stop eating the pizza? Like, oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. Hell, I bet you all are going to quit by the end of this. Because it seems like now it's just... What? <laughs> go in there. They're all gone. Unfortunately.
<laughs> and if it doesn't, You were just an ass. Yeah, you deserve that piece of shit. Beating the shit out of you. So that means that you have talent and you did need people to back you up. Because <laughs> he believes in you.
and doing it the right way. You want to apologize though? See, now I like him because he's not an arrogant piece of shit anyway. <laughs> it's interesting to see him with like his elementary school like <laughs> <laughs> friends, other students. <laughs> still, even now, he's still so far away from them. Jesus. gonna be worse so I gotta make sure not to record anything on New Year's yeah I mean he got to catch up but you could just see you know yeah 
how different you guys are from them. Yeah. You need to, like, at least have one day where you guys go out and party or something. But don't you feel like you might have a midlife crisis later on in life? You gotta love when people like to honk their freaking horns. Bank robbery. No! Oh, shit. God, no, 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 I knew it was going to happen. It was going to happen. One day in any episode, it was going to fucking happen. I just didn't think we were going to get it now. Shit. And it had to be, like, at least little kids. No, it had to be, like, teenagers or adults who did the bank robbery. Because, come on. But... This is what happens even in modern day like scenarios and such because they're, oh God, I don't even want to talk about this because it's just, the topic of it, it's a very, you know, a hard discussion to have with anybody and this is why, like, especially whether it, it however old you are, whether you are my age you're younger than me, you're older than me, and such and how someone who, like, because I, I, I had a conversation like this with my mom, and we were talking about, you know, the situation of, like, real life versus fantasy, and how, yeah, you shouldn't do things from fantasy, and this is that a third because of consequences, that is the situation, the same thing of using something as, like, your... Um, my God, what is the word, Deja? Um, oh my God, I can't think of the damn word. I cannot think of the word. Oh my God. Like, uh, getting away from reality, basically. That's what I'm trying to think of. It's something else. I'm trying, like, I'm blanking right now. But now that there are people doing stuff from the freaking PCP manga. Like, ah, oh, th this is very similar to, like, um, <laughs> when did I hear about this? This was, like, I, I was probably still maybe in high school or I was in elementary school. So I think it was probably when I was still, maybe a year after my mid no, element, no, middle, my middle school year. Okay, so the year kind of when Death Note, when the anime came out, um, and this, ha no, this had to be, like, during my high school year, because, you know, most mangas will eventually make it into, like, the news for something, because, okay, the most recent one that I can think about as of right now is the situation on Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon, and how that is depicting a relationship between, um, to women and how because of the fact is there are a lot of parents out here who don't want their kids to read that and such. So I saw this video around maybe 2008, 2009 on YouTube. 
Okay, of course. It was about Death Note, of course. There, um, there, there's, even now, there's been, like, several faking vids of, um, of Death Note stuff. And people trying to do what he would like did as stuff and people were like quote unquote inspired by it and such and how there was a lot of controversies and how you know the 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 book or the manga series is basically banned in certain countries sometimes I don't know if it's banned in certain states here in America because I haven't done a lot of research on it but it that's what we're getting to because now there's going to be a point that this manga is possibly going to be banned in Tokyo or just Japan specifically and then they're gonna have to start over from scratch just so we had a win but now we're getting a loss and I hate that because in a way these two are possibly going to have to come out and make an apology statement to everybody to the families of you know whoever is doing this because of course they are inspired by PCP and such oh my god this oh my god this hurts so fucking much I hate this I, I Oh, I hate this so freaking much. <laughs> I can't. It's like, God damn it. You give me that win and the lose at the same time. But I mean, these three episodes really, even for not, I mean, like, were really good. I ended up hating him, loving him in the beginning, then so ultimately hating him. And now I'm slowly but surely loving him again. And so I'm hoping that whatever his next series is, it's so much better than what he did with the team of 50 people now that he's officially, you know, on his own and he's getting advice from his editor and such. Um, but for my boys in the situation of PCP, I don't know how this is going to go for them. I really, truly don't know. And that's one of the biggest things currently as of right now that I'm really afraid of because anything could literally happen in episodes 13, 14, and 15. But of course, we're not going to know until... I watched the next three. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view choice episodes 10 to 12 of season three of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday. I keep, I think I keep saying next Friday, but I mean Saturday um, in my other two videos. And I will see everybody else officially the first week of January on that Wednesday. Um, or, well, for these, but the following Wednesday, um, for episodes 13, 14, and 15. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.